Why are you so interested in the Shadow Broker? The Shadow Broker hurt someone important to me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here on the planet Ilium. We had to make a brief detour and go back to the Normandy so I could apply the biotic upgrade, which gives us 20% biotic cooldown. All right, so with that out of the way, let's continue. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Okay. Here's, uh, Serena. Serena? Who wants to know? Huh. Show some respect. Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Hmm, talk fast. I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Let's ask about Nasana. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what she's nope. capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. Let's ask about the opposition. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well-equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Let's ask where the assassin is. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. And what's the reason for the assistance? You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's ask about Thane. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Alright, well, we're not ready yet. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be here, but I wouldn't wait too long. Okay, let's continue. We got four Renegade. Hungry? Then come to the fish dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits. <laughs> Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. 
I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Alright, we're doing the assignment for Liara. some star charts. I'm not going to buy any of these yet. Who is Irina? Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Alright, thank you. Uh-oh. You look familiar. Your shepherd? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zoo's Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack, and from the Thorian creature's control. After you killed the Thorian, we rebuilt. Zoo's Hope is beautiful now, and we owe it all to you. And how is Zoo's Hope? How are the colonists doing? We're doing really well. Things are looking even better than they did before the Geth showed up. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. And why are you here? What brings you to Alien? We've had health trouble. Probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. Let's ask about the health problems. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? We get these headaches, like we did when the Thorian was controlling us, and muscle twitches, nerve damage maybe. And sometimes we can feel each other. I can tell when someone nearby is in pain. Hmm. Uh, scanning contract? Tell me more about the contract you signed to have these scans done. Baria Frontiers offered to do medical scans for next to nothing. Said they'd just use anything interesting they found in us. But there's a line we missed about how if they find something, they can do follow-up procedures as they see fit, without our consent. Can they do that? They can't actually force these procedures upon you. This is Ilium. They have contracts for just about everything you can imagine. If we don't take the tests, they'll declare us in breach of contract. We can't afford the legal fees they could hit us with. All right, Shepard is going to handle it. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. Okay. And we've already spoken to briefly. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Hmm. Why are you so angry? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Let's ask about the contract legality. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Hmm. So this is because they're human. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. 
or my daughters who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. And we met both of them. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Uh-oh, people. I know this is a sensitive time, but he's going to pull the renegade card. They didn't hate aliens. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. All right, 40 experience. Let's let the colonists know. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. Five renegades. Nice. Camp. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. Zoo's hope is in your debt yet again. Okay, we still need to. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non Do customers. the Liara like mission thing? Okay, so that that's nothing we can do. I heard she lost. This, I think, is um. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before. Officer that. Dara, we need to talk to her about Samara, but we cannot. Okay. So are there any more terminals? For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's what I'm this? telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Here we go. Got it. All right, where's the next one? It's not that way. Over here. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Is that nope? Not Let it. Your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tucharka. Here. Let our scorching Got it. In sheeting rain. Okay. Beauty into strength. Or if our love. What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Hmm. <laughs> he likes the you. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Reason for dating. She doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but... Eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Hmm. Reason for breakup. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. <laughs> it made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. 
Hmm. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think you realize that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Oh, isn't that sweet? Huh, you should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Wow. Get rid of him. No, he can't say that. I uh, wish I could I'm help. not sure what to tell you. Good luck either way. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, I have to convince her? Okay, come. Hi. Please try to ignore my non-boyfriend's non-poetry. Can I help you? Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Chalk, Krogan's lip. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have right. That sounds like a Let's see if we can't get back to these get. Anyway, choices. Char was quiet for a long time. You need to talk I to your know, boy. I know, but it's tough. I All like right. him a lot. All right, we're going to have to go with Hell, the Paragon thing. Him. We should take him back. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Wow. A discount for fixing relationship issues. Okay. All right, well, we got five Paragon. Didn't really want that, but hey. So look at this, some fish. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> these are expensive. I'm not buying these. Well... <laughs> Because, I mean, I I don't know how close we are to getting them. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Oh, look at this. Heavy skin weave, assault rifle damage, amplifier plates. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we need to yeah, go and I've make lots of money. Eclipse. Okay. She told me, the store's over there, and don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. All right. Well, we've got another one of these terminals to hack while we're here. Got it. Okay. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Is it? Nope. Here? Oh, come on. Here? A source reports that the no! Human you can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and every- Shepard, this Got is it. Liara. All right, we got five Renegade, 40 experience. Great. Okay, um, let's go ahead and talk to Liara. We'll finish up. Oh, no, uh, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. These All little the side quests right here. The package. It's legally required. I believe how Ooh, lovely your like scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and Alright, well, there are a lot of good upgrades that we can get at that uh, kiosk. If we can get some money. That's a lot of money, though, that they're asking for. Wow. But that's one thing that has plagued me through this um, playthrough, is not having enough money. Alright, Liara, we are back. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here. It's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? 
With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Uh, why did you want this? Why are you so interested in the Shadow Broker? The Shadow Broker hurt someone important to me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Hmm. Let's ask her what happened. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Alright, so come with me. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. All right, well, good luck. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, uh, that's it. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right, so I'm supposed to talk to her. 2,000 credits. I need much more than that, Liara. Um... Can I talk Shepherd, to you about something it's else? it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? How are How's you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Okay, what do you need? Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Uh, do you know anything else? Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Hmm, let's intimidate them? Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground. And my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike. And we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. All right, I'm on it. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Find data fragments. All right. Would like to so to yeah, we got these little fetch quest things going on here. Data point five. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? Oh, Lord. Um, I really wasn't paying attention to that kill, the Solarian. Oops. All right, I need to pay more attention. <laughs> it's like, I hope that's what it was. I guess I did it right, because I got experience. Do you have anything flashier? Um, so we're I looking for... Says, I own this room. I own you. What's this? Okay. I'll see. 
see what we can do soon. Because I can't remember if it's just in this area here. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. That's disgusting. You're making money off people's feet. I don't fear. think so. Yes, I am. By the shipload. Whereas your stock just fell like it was in a high gravity environment. Damn it! Um, alright, I don't think there's anything else. In this area, anyway. She's there waiting for us. We'll be back one day. Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees? Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a battalion father. Wow. You're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're, the word you're looking for is... She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard mm. she married an Asari herself. Had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either. Hey, we're friends. I have never it's called more you that. Galactic no, news. but you're thinking about it. Oh, you think it was on. easy growing up here? I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get it. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse marks, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Well, Liara, you may never find out who this observer is. It's just, wow, this is something weapons. else. Shouldn't you be What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. All right, well, Eclipse I think we've gone around to all the terminals the that I'm aware of. Plant's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't, so Don't know what I missed. Don't even I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Hmm. Information cache terminals around Ilium. I don't see any more of these. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them... Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. I mean, it's, it's gotta be five. these kind of things An here. An initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. Maybe a shirt. Or a car. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? Well, all right, folks, we're going to end the video here. That's enough running around, and we will continue next time with more of Mass Effect 2. This is Hill, and I'm out.